It's the whys and the winds that get us caught up. That be the slip up. The slip up that you do not need in this next season. The whys don't matter because it doesn't change anything from the past. It's not going to change your perception. It's not going to put you at ease. You know, it's only going to make you want to dig deeper into things that are holding you back. When you've asked for these blockages to be cleared, the winds don't matter because time is an illusion. And it's heavily based on the amount of work and discipline and fight that you have in you. So you ultimately decide how far and how fast based on your frequency. Yep. July is going to be great. July is going to be as great as you make it. And that's just what it is. Now, will you have to release? Will you have to say goodbye to old, you know, versions of yourself? Will you have to say goodbye to people that no longer resonate, jobs, career paths that no longer serve you? Will you have to shift inside and out? Yes. But on the other side of that is exactly what you ask spirit for exactly what you've been praying for exactly what you've been manifesting but you have to say okay and take the first step forward hi my name is raji i'm an evolved hustler and i am here with your collective reading for today it is sunday and we are going to be doing the forecast for july today so tap in now if the message resonates don't forget to hit that follow like share and subscribe button tell a friend and tell a friend to the OGs, thank you so much for continuing to support me and engage with my content. I really do appreciate you guys. And to the newbies, to the new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the tribe. I, I hope you guys get something from my readings and from my content. I appreciate you guys nonetheless. Now, if you need a private appointment, don't forget to click that link in my bio and, um, you know, schedule what you need. <laughs> I'm available to be a service to you. All right, y'all. So today is Sunday, ruled by the sun, and the moon is third quarter in Taurus. So we are concentrating on things that are going to last. We're making our plans. We are clearing energy out that does not serve us. You know? And you've got to be okay with that. Grieve it. Let it flow. And get excited about the next level for yourself. Like, get excited about what you ask spirit for. So this particular energy is one of you deciding that for you to walk away is going to be healthier than for you to stay. And this is not concerning just people, uh, outside energies, things that within you are holding you back. So you gathered your emotions and your feelings and you decided to heal from these illusions and these lies that these people tried to place on you. See, these people did not want you to believe that you were who you were thinking that you were. You know what I'm saying? You were a gift. You were a leader. You, you were all of these beautiful things. And what they wanted to do is they wanted to create an illusion for you that you you weren't this this person this wasn't your purpose this wasn't your calling you feel me they didn't even want you to begin to heal these levels of yourself so they consistently kept you in this six of pentacles in the reverse mode like mm, <laughs> this this isn't you but you being in your feelings about this past situation is not going to help you moving forward you're holding yourself back with this knight of wands in reverse here because you are fearful that you are helpless, that you cannot stand, that you do not have the support that you need from your spirit team. That is a lie. That is an illusion to keep you in the will of fortune. So if your frequency stays low, it's going to be hard for you to manifest higher timelines. You feel me? And they know that. Spirit is asking that you fall into balance. You need to get in alignment and fall in love with yourself this season. And then you will find your tribe. Then you will find your ultimate happiness, you know, your joy. But you've got to make that decision for yourself. It's time for you to face these towers, face these endings, and be okay with the fact that these things were revealed to you for your highest good. 
you know, you might not see that now. It might have affected you from making this decision. Maybe you was confused about some shit. But you being confused is fucking with the church's money at the end of the day confirmation it's fucking with the church's money because you need to emancipate yourself from these people from these towers because they are happening for you not to you at the end of the day yeah maybe you were trying to avoid this you know by continuing to kind of lean in between but spirit says no decision is a decision and you need to be focused on self-care and taking care of yourself Capricorn could be significant as well as Aries and Libra. Yeah, it's time for you to get disciplined about the life that you are asking for. Remain still. Stay in observer mode. There's no need to react to this shit that's going on around you because it has nothing to do with you. You know, you've done your time. You've paid your karmic debt. This, this shit got nothing to do with you. You just got to do the work. So the collective presently is more ambitious, more focused. You know, you're definitely in your bag in terms of being able to see the forest for the trees. Like you feeling very confident and sure about the path forward. And that's because you decided to release control. You say, you know, I'm just going to flow. I'm just going to do me. And if you haven't, Spirit wants you to start worrying about these things. Like, don't worry. Do not worry. Do not keep lowering your frequency, worrying about shit you can't control and shit you can't see. It keeps you ungrounded. Virgo could be significant here. Yeah, it keeps you ungrounded and stopping you from finding alignment and balance. Mm -hmm. You need to do that. You need to be in alignment. Again, you might not be communicating with these people because are moving forward with these energies here. Yeah, Spirit says continue to move on. Continue to pick up your feelings and say, babe, I'm, I'm good with being, you know, with starting over. Not even necessarily with being by yourself, but starting over, trying a new path, trying new things. Yeah, you stop going after certain things. You stop considering certain ideals. And because this is because people was betraying you. People were stabbing you in your back. And it could very well be that these, you know, you walked away because, you know, and that stopped these people from being able to betray you. These people definitely wanted to keep make you feel like you weren't going to be able to achieve what you were trying to achieve. They wanted to keep you low frequency. Yeah. And instead of doing that, you chose to heal. You chose to accept the offer from spirit that was going to be better for you and not waste your energy on these previous timelines because they don't serve you. It was a lot behind you that you didn't see. Like spirit wants you to know, like, don't feel guilty about ending these partnerships, relationships, these timelines, because it was a lot you didn't see that was happening during cancer season. Yeah. And you might not have felt like, you know, these people were trying to take from you. You may have felt like it was something small, one, two, three on the timestamp. You may have felt like, oh, this is small, but you receiving justice for any and everything that they tried to take from an idea to a financial, you know, benefit. Everything that they tried to take, baby, the spirit is saying you're going to get a return back to you this season. Yeah, they didn't expect you to heal at all. They didn't expect you to heal and fall into your highest frequency. They thought that you were going to continue to like stay like in this negative vibe. You know what I'm saying? They didn't think that. They had no idea. Like I said last week, they thought they had won. For real, for real. They did. Yeah. They thought you didn't see that they were feeding you lies and illusions. Mm -hmm. They thought they destroyed your confidence. Star. Got Leo, Aquarius, and this was going to stop you from working hard towards your goals. But you shot in the ass. Yeah, they wanted to keep you in poverty. Like, this is how they were going to keep you in poverty. They knew by them tearing down your confidence. Like, so the whole time they were counting on you being your own worst enemy to like wrap it all up into one. If I could like put it down, like they thought like them destroying your confidence was going to keep you in this poverty mindset in that way, you know, you wouldn't ascend and then you wouldn't take a leap of faith that spirit was having for you. Like, oh, let me destroy their confidence. But you stayed strategic. You 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 kept your, your mind in the right space. Um, and you should continue to do so during this particular month. Yeah, these people were definitely trying to con you in a different way. It was so malicious. And P spirit is saying, continue to protect your energy, protect your boundaries, protect your dreams and your thoughts. Because they're going to continue to come after you. You feel me? New levels, new devils type thing. So don't expect like, oh, 
I've gotten rid of these, you know, and I hate to put it like that, but as soon as you shake one group off, another one come. But nothing's going to work, though. As long as you stay high frequency, as long as you realize that you need boundaries, you know, you'll be okay. Yeah, continue to create the life that you desire. Continue to keep your energy high so that you can do that. Like I said, your frequency got to be right to call in certain things. Spirit is saying, do not continue to trust these energies and don't trust everything you see. Yeah. Don't trust everything you see. Do not. They wanted to instill some level of fear for you, like maybe by keeping things from you. Maybe there was some sort of secret here. Yeah. Don't trust that fear. They wanted to instill that fear in you. Yeah. Your secret weapon is going to be that you are rebirthing. You are changing. You're transforming rapidly. Yeah. Spirit does not want you to continue to communicate with these people. Don't do not do it. Believe what they showed you the first time. And don't take any bad deals right now. Watch the deals that you're making. Yeah. You definitely are stepping into more of a wisdom-based season. So you got to learn. Learn from those mistakes. You know, turn those L's into lessons. For real, for real, during July. Don't fall for the same okie doke. Now, in the near future, again, there's an era of you just coming up out of being so emotional about the things that have happened, about things you can't change, about things that are not coming back into your next season. Scorpio could be significant. You are being granted a new start and you're being encouraged to heal. Ace of Baskets. Now, with you being encouraged to heal, you know, this is a fresh new start for you. This is you being fearless, you being independent. So your journey is not going to start with like a huge group of people. You've got to heal yourself first. These people were definitely trying to make you feel like you weren't secure. And your spirit team wants you to know that you are going to get these gifts. You are going to get this prosperity. You are going to have stability. You know what I'm saying? Um, they definitely didn't want you to fight. They didn't.